This video will demonstrate how to read and load the configuration of the 2X series fire panels. The first step is to run the PCC application. Before making any changes, a confirmation is required that configuration created applies to regional safety regulations, and you are aware of the potential risks. Confirm this window by clicking OK. Now start from opening your site project or creating a new one. Enter a project name and confirm with OK. Keep in mind this name will be displayed on the panel screen. Then open the selected project. First, you must define the type of panel that will be used. If it is to be assigned to ID number 1, then add it on the first position. Click on the question mark of the correct panel number, and hold your cursor over the Add this panel option, to see all the panel variants available. In each of them you have a choice of a single loop panel, a two loop panel, a standard repeater, or the compact repeater. You can also decide on its type. The standard panel, the fire protection panel with fire brigade controls, the Scandinavian variant, the evacuation panel, the Scandinavian fire protection panel, and the conventional panel. The important thing is that the type you choose matches your panel. Then click on the added panels icon and expand it. Now find communication on the list. Make sure the USB connection method is selected. Connect your computer to the panel with USB-A cable as it is shown. Then click Connect button. The PCC will now try to establish a connection to 2X fire panel. If the added panel does not match with the panel you are connected to, the PCC will display faults and indicate the wrong settings that need to be corrected. These may be panel ID, the panel type, the loop protocol, or panel version. If any of these are reported close the communication window. Go back to your panel and change the parameters that were listed as incorrect. Panel type. Panel version. Loop protocol. Panel ID. Once corrected, try connecting again. If the connection succeeded without encountering any errors, then you can retrieve the configuration from the panel. Note that the connect button changes its description to disconnect. Now click on read from panel to get the configuration. Confirm that you want to overwrite the current configuration in the PCC. Sometimes a regional mode error might occur, at the end of the reading process. Then go to regional settings, and select the one being used in the panel. Now reconnect to read the panel configuration without any incompatibilities. After making any changes in the PCC, you can send the configuration to update it in the panel. To do this, use the Write to Panel button in Communication tab. Confirm that you want to connect by clicking Yes. Wait until the panel commits the changes and resets itself.